Okay, one more trick here, just to make our site even better for the widest number of users. We're going to go ahead and put in a skip to content link, and this will make it more accessible. And this will also show the fragment identifiers um, part of the chapter. So let's go to our HTML. And what I've done in this example is I've added one more thing to our header. I've put this anchor up here in the top. So I've put an anchor with an ID of skip, an alt tag of skip to content, my hypertext reference attribute, my href I've put hash content, and then in between my anchor tag I've put skip to content. Now down here I've put on my h1 header an ID of content. So the idea here is that I'm going to turn this skip to content link into something that is going to point at the uh, item with the ID of content, which happens to be this header. So when a user clicks this skip to content link, they'll get a bump down to this header on the page. And that'll take somebody who's on a screen reader, for example, and skip them over our navigation and let them go straight to the content itself. So let's look at the CSS that we've done to set that up. So now here on the CSS, I've put in some styles. So I'm styling the anchor tag with an ID of skip. So that was, you'll remember, what we had here. Here's our anchor tag, an ID of skip. And I'm setting it, uh, this is kind of interesting here. I've given it an absolute position. Uh, with a top value of negative 500 pixels and a width and a height of one pixel each. So, and then the overflow is set to hidden. So basically I'm hiding it without actually doing a display none that's going to keep me from being able to tab to it. So, um, and this is on any time that the anchor tag uh, is just appearing or it's hovered over or it's been visited. Uh, it's going to just be sitting 500 pixels up above the page and in just a width and a height of one pixel each. So it's basically gone um, from view, that is. Then I've got another style here where when it's active or, um, or when the link is receiving uh, the, the focus, the keyboard focus, then its position is going to be static. It's going to jump back to where it actually sits in the normal flow of things. And then the width and the height will be auto, meaning it's going to be uh, just the natural width and the height, the default for what content is contained. So the result is, when we look at our site, initially uh, we don't see any skip to content link. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. And there is my skip to content link. So now it's the active link and it has the keyboard focus. And so the style switches and now it comes back down onto the page and has an auto width and height and it's visible. So now I'm going to hit the enter key and here we get jumped down to our heading one today's article and we've just effectively um, created a skip uh, skip to content link that skips over all of our navigation and sends the user who might be on a screen reader or something straight to the content itself. So there's an example of how you can uh, link to fragments or to parts of your page by linking to a, an ID, um, an element ID on your page, and how you can use that to make your web page more accessible by putting in a skip to content link.